In this video, I'm gonna start talking more about um, 528 Hertz and my experience with not listening to music over the last year and seven months. I just wanna say thank you to everyone that watches these videos. Um, the response has been amazing and it's really cool to see that a lot of people share the same view or understanding of what's happening in the world today. You know, whether it's being blessed by God or blessed by the devil, you know, however you want to put it, you know, that's just an easy way to say, say it. All right. So in the comments, somebody asked me about my experience with not listening to music and they wanted to know what the benefits were. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about, or that is what I'm going to talk about here. So a long time ago, I realized that the body is made up of 90% water. So then I watched a couple of videos on solfeggio tones and using these miracle tones to heal, um, destroy cancer cells, which I thought was amazing. Um, and it's, it's a video called 528HZ. Um, if you look that up, it's really awesome. But when I saw this, I'm like, okay, there has to be something to this, you know, and then they go deep into your DNA and all this stuff. So that's kind of like the short, short, short version of the backstory. I'm not really prepared to talk about that right now um, because I don't have enough facts kind of lined up to present to you guys. I can just talk off experience. So I'm just going to talk off experience and then I'll tell you my benefits and my experience, and then you can go backtrack the science behind it, or one day I'll do that. But science and like spitting out facts is not my thing. I'm more of like, <laughs> speak from experience and just what happened to me because it's honest and truthful. Like I didn't do any of this research. I'm just repeating what they said. So I don't really want to repeat somebody else's work. I listened to it and put it into action. So my action and my experience and my research in doing this, this is what I found. <sighs> so a year and seven months ago, I stopped listening to music when I went to the gym. I stopped listening to music altogether. I started listening to solfeggio tones. There's nine of them. And then when you look them up, it'll tell you that, excuse me, sorry, that each of them do different things. Like 174 does um, letting go of pain, you know, 385 does, I have it all on my Spotify and I just listen to them and I look next to it with what they each mean. I didn't memorize them right now. 528 Hertz is the love frequency. Nine something is your third eye. I would stay in the, the body regeneration, cell regeneration, muscle regeneration when I would go to the gym. So I'd listen to that vibration while I'm working out and it would just dial me in so much into my body. And like, I didn't worry about anything else that was going on in the gym. I was just so focused on walking on the treadmill, breathing, meditating, and just feeling these vibrations in my body or the tones going off in the headphones. Or when I'd lift, I just kind of breathe and kind of sync with it. And I really, really felt something was shaking and stirring things up in my body and it was it was doing doing its purpose. Um, and I ended up getting more energy. So in the gym, I would use that one. Then I would come home and if I was just kind of relaxing in the background, I, instead of playing music to like occupy myself or like not get present or that's a whole nother story. Um, I would just listen to the different, so like maybe the heart solfeggio tone, the heart healing, you know, that sort of thing, and just kind of relax with it. And all the benefits were there. It was amazing. So now I'm just going to tell like the contrast so you can see where I got the benefit, I guess. That might be easier. Um, so certain days I would go in the gym and not listen to music. I listen to Om chant, solfeggio. Then I'd be on the treadmill and I'm like, okay, I've done this for a while. Like how bad can music be? It's not a big deal. I'll just listen to like house music or instrumentals, you know, with no words. So it won't influence me. Man, was I wrong, man, was I wrong. So what happened was I'd get on the treadmill and I'd listen to 
some type of house music, no words. And then I'd be running or I'd just be walking. And before I knew it, I was running. <laughs> you know, this beat would just like kind of take over me and I would just kind of like bop to it and sync with it. And then I would like start walking to it and walking faster. And then I'd start running and then I have all this energy. It was wild. I was like, okay, I get why people work out to music. Like I was pumped up and I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I don't take caffeine pre-workout, none of that stuff. I just go off my own life force and I'm flying on this thing and I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna stop and I'm doing it. And pretty much the music took control of me and just like blasted me through that workout. Like, you know, it was a serious, intense workout. It was really cool and it was good, but this is where I noticed the contrast. So what happened was the music and the vibration that it was giving me was setting my body into motion. Cool, we get that. I'm flying, I'm at this high peak level. Now is when things started to change. When I got home, I noticed that my food choice would change. I wanted different foods. My willpower was a lot lower. I noticed that I would look around for attention more in the gym because I was really feeling myself or feeling it at the moment and like radiating this wild aura or energy field, you know, if you want to go there with it. I would go home, I would eat certain foods that I probably normally wouldn't eat because I'm on a very strict gluten-free, sugar-free diet, trying to clean myself up. I had to deal with the cancer and you know, that's a whole backstory. So I would start making little poor decisions. I would talk to people I normally wouldn't talk to and things would start happening in my life and then they would start spiraling in a downward motion. Um, I would talk to certain women. I would want to go do different things. I would go out to dinner. I would stay out later. I would go to certain places I wouldn't go to. I'd engage in activities I normally wouldn't act, um, engage in. Um, I don't use drugs or alcohol. I stopped that a year and seven months ago. I don't do PMO. Um, and I, I, I'm celibate, you know, and I don't lust after women. I needed to d destroy that in my heart. So that's what I've been working on for a while whole nother story. So as I'm cleaning myself up, I would use, I would, when I listen to this music, things would spiral down. And in the book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, the, the devil calls it drifting. When a person is centered and knows who they are and you're congruent with everything, AKA when I listen to the Solfigio tones, Om Chance, it brings me back to center. Now, when I use um, house music or other type of music, it puts me in a drift. I start drifting because here's the music. Ooh, I feel good. Ooh, I'm not in my body. Ooh, I'm in my body. I just feel the rhythm. And now I'm just kind of doing one of these or running on the treadmill and now I'm drifting. And then what happens is other influences start coming in and I'm not centered. I'm not in my power. So now there's a chance for things to take over. Hit me, hit me commercials come in. I see Burger King. I see chocolate. Somebody calls, hey, do you want to go to a party? Um, you know, do you want to go out to dinner? Um, you know, and then then I start drifting. This starts happening. The influence starts coming in. So now the devil or whoever has an opening. When you start doing this, one decision leads to another, to another, to another, to another. And then I notice by the end of the night, I've eaten a little bit of gluten or foods I normally wouldn't eat. Um, I've hung out later than I normally do, and I've had conversations I normally would never engage in, and gossip, just stuff that when I'm not in my center and who I really am, I don't do. So I had to go backtrack when I would have like stomach issues. Why did I have the stomach issue? Why did I choose to eat that food tonight and backtrack everything? It really started with the music, all right? If I don't listen to that music, my day is smooth. I stay in my center. I'm, I'm, I'm on. But now I'm like feeling myself. I'm in this drifting. Then he calls it hypnotic rhythm. And that's like a trance-like state. So you start drifting. Boom, something hits you. You know, I see a commercial for a restaurant I want to go to. Boom, I go to the restaurant. Then I'm like, ah, whatever. You know, I'm feeling good. I did extra cardio. You know, I'll eat 
you know, a little more food than I normally do. Maybe I'll have, you know, the steak and not worry about the sauce on it and the sugar that's involved. Or maybe I'll have the gluten-free dessert, but it does have sugar, you know, and I know better and I don't crave this until this starts happening. So now I'm drifting, now I'm in hypnotic rhythm, you know, and then I'm pretty much blacked out, you know, I'm in a hypnotic state. Okay. And it started from the music. The music put me into this mode. And now things can influence me. And then things start happening. So on the days that I would listen to the music are the days that I noticed I would cheat. I would do something. I would do anything. Just something off the ordinary. I knew not to use drugs or alcohol. But mine would come down to the food choices. I would make a worse food choice. I'd engage with conversation with people or women that I normally wouldn't engage with, I'd have the lustful thoughts. I'd, I'd really say, okay, and then I'd start questioning myself and what I'm doing. And, you know, is it that serious? You know, everyone else is doing it because I got into the drift. I got into the hypnotic rhythm. Then I got on the vibration of the masses and the people around me and became a product of my environment. And I was easily, easily influenced by these people, places, and things where my willpower went down and I was making poor choices. I didn't mess everything up completely, but I did make mistakes that I normally wouldn't make. And on the backtrack, it all started with the music and got me off center. All right. That's kind of why I don't listen to the music. And I know the powerful effects of it because when you go to like a shopping mall and you're going shopping, they play certain music, it amps you up to buy stuff. If you're in a restaurant, it amps you up to buy stuff. If you want to go to bed and you listen to slower music, it can slow you down. So the music is very, very powerful. In other cultures, they didn't use music for fun and parties and to escape reality. You know, people are like, I'm so sad, the music brings me up or the music brings me down. You know, that's how powerful the music is. It can dictate your mood. Now the body, is made up of 90% water. They tell you it's 70, it's 90. The effect the vibration has on water is wild. That's a whole nother science video and more like deeper stuff. But essentially you're made up of water. The vibration comes in. It changes the way your cells and your body expresses itself. All right, simple almost like subliminal messaging with the music. So when I was in Bali or these other countries, when you go out in the restaurant, it's silent. In the gym, it's silent. There's no music going on. The only time they have music is when they have like ceremony, celebration, um, you know, like cultures would like pray for rain. They would do all these dancing and drum beats and they would call in the spirits to, to come in and, you know, heal things or like a child was sick in a tribe they would uh play music and put the child in there and get them back to center who they are and let their body heal themselves you know now we have so much outside stimulation that it's really hard to just sit in silence people just don't want to do it like imagine just sitting in your house quiet like this you know for an hour not watching tv not listening to music not watching youtube not scrolling on your phone it's crazy. You know, you, you would probably go crazy, you know, and that's, you know, that's a good thing. And when you can sit there and be cool with that, you know, the world is a whole different place and all the influences stop and nothing has control of you. So I wanted to eliminate the outside influences control over me when I got into that drift mode or that hypnotic rhythm. So until I could really stay present with myself, I stopped listening to the music. Now it's been a year and seven months. Yeah, here and there I do listen to it, you know, when I'm on the treadmill. And then I quickly turn it off because I get amped up and then I realize it's not real. You know, and I don't drink caffeine um, because it drains my life force and takes all my energy and like zaps it. Yeah, it's a quick burst, but then it's done. And I just don't do it. And I've never drank coffee in my life. Um, I've made a significant change in a year and seven months. I'll talk about each thing that I changed. Um, I've lost a significant amount of weight. I had to deal with cancer and other um, stomach gastro problems from poor eating, um, certain things like that's a whole nother story. But as far as the benefits, there are so many benefits to not listening to music because it lets you stay centered and present. 
and you can be who you truly are without outside influence or drifting or getting into this hypnotic rhythm where people just kind of live here in that escape and they're always listening to the music or fresh off the music or you know the car they're pumping the music or they're listening to an audio book all this stuff really influences you and dictates your behavior so like as soon as that music comes boom it hits you then the next thing they can slam you with cigarettes alcohol you know lusting after women um, certain foods whatever it might be um, that's where it can start hitting you it just needed an opening so that's what i'm getting at the music is an opening it opens you up you know anything good can come in but bad can come in too. And in the book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, the opposition, the devil, is extremely intelligent and knows how to get you. So if you're being clean and doing the right thing, that's when they really come for you, you know, because you've escaped his hold. You see where I'm going with this? So now that's just another way that he can get to you. And then fluoride's a whole nother story with the water you know, and controlling people with the water that they drink. And that's a whole nother conspiracy. And there's a lot of science in that one. I don't want to get into it right now, but just in the short of this or the long um, from the video, the benefits are amazing. I feel like I've regenerated organs in my body to function at a higher capacity. Um, in certain uh, sophigio tones, it lets go of fear and guilt and shame. And I struggle with that a lot. And I listened to that and I would just breathe it out. And, and I just felt more calm, more relaxed. You know, did it solve all my problems? No, but I think it gave me a great advantage to releasing stored emotions in my body, vibrating it out, I guess. And then the ones that regenerated stuff, I feel like it healed areas of my body that were destroyed from poor food, alcohol, drugs. I believe that it, it helped um, regenerate and vibrate at a frequency that it could match and understand and heal itself, you know? And I just think it really helped in the process. Um, I don't listen to like the third eye stuff. I don't really go there with the woo-woo stuff. I'm a chiropractor, I totally understand it, but I needed to heal my physical body, my internal organs. I need to let go of some emotional stuff, negative thinking and open my heart more. So I just stayed in the low range up to 528 and 714 to let go of negative energy that I was storing. And I believe it just gave me um, a way to release it. You know, it kept me present and it vibrated and I really believed it was working. So that was part of it too. You know, I subconsciously really believed that this was happening. So I stuck with it and I feel amazing and I won't go back to music. And I notice when I hear music or listen to music, it kind of annoys me. And it, it brings me back to an old mood, an old pattern, an old behavior. Sometimes when I hear like older music in the car, I'm like, whatever, let me listen to music. It's been so long, how bad can it be? I find myself just drifting and going. And when that happens, I just cut it, cut it instantly. Cause I know the effects later that it's gonna have on my decision-making, my willpower. And it's putting me into this drift mode and hypnotic rhythm. So, it's a long video, hopefully you watch to the end. I'm gonna keep making more videos. I only like to make them when I get really inspired and it just comes through me. I don't wanna talk just to talk and I wanna just do it when I feel it um, and just talk from like an honest place all the time. Um, I'm not here to sell you anything. I don't wanna give you five tips to manifest something. I don't wanna give you three ways to stop listening to music. You know, I'm just talking from experience. Um, is it the most popular way? Probably not, but it's real, it's honest, and I appreciate all you guys, and thank you for all the comments um, below, and thank you for the new subscribers. Um, and if you haven't, hit that like button, and if you can, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me and motivates me, especially the comments, and gets me going so that I can keep talking like this. And yeah, I've got tons of information that I just want to share. I just struggle to get it out and I'm not good at YouTube and formatting videos and doing this and you know I just go on tangents and I don't s stick in so enough about that I'll just stop that was great thanks guys um, hope you benefit from this